What's up, everybody? All right, so today we're going to move pretty quick. We're going to run through 14 different exercises. We're not going to separate into different circuits. We're just going to run through all 14 for two separate rounds. Okay, so there are going to be just one repeat as far as they go through it twice. Um, for the most part, we're going to be using our body weight along with just some lighter dumbbells. So I figured kind of at this point, everyone has some type of dumbbells. They don't need to be heavy, you know, as heavy as you have. I'm going to be using a pair of 15s and a pair of 8s. Um, make sure you have water. I have a foam pad just because this floor is not the most comfortable if you have any type of mat out, uh, at your home or in the office or just you're on the grass outside. I did turn the class today. Uh, I know it's kind of difficult to see me because of the shades or really the, the sun blasting in. So hopefully this works out a little better, but uh, just bear with me. We're doing the best we can. Uh, so that being said, hey, let's hop right into it. All right, so everything is gonna be timed today. Everything's gonna be a 30 second interval, so you don't have to worry about counting everything. We're gonna start with some windmills. So feet, a nice wide stance. You're gonna push your hips back to drop the heel with the hand. The downside to a few of you being beautiful outside every day, we gotta deal with this glare. Three, two, one. Let's go to some cross jacks. Cross your feet, cross your arms. We got a bunch of different variations that we'll go through. We're gonna hit full body, a lot of strength, a lot of cardio, a lot of belly. Everything's involved, no specific orders. Feet, two, one. Let's step out into a lateral lunge. Get the inside of those hips. Get movements, side to side motions. You get brownie points if you're doing this outside. Just make sure you get some shade or got some suntan lotion on. Just gonna do a quick little warm up. We've been going through a lot of different warm ups lately on our Facebook page, so you should be able to kind of figure out what warm up fits you best. All right, so one just call it pull the ceiling down. Curtsy you on the back, keep that leg nice and straight, drop the chest, hold the roof right down. Just trying to get the blood flow going, warm up the body. And three, two, one. Beautiful. So, our, the first one we're going to start with is, is jumping jacks. So we're going to kind of just keep, keep picking up where we are. There's all the variations you can do. You can do the cross chests like I do. Use dumbbells. Okay, do dumbbell jacks. Just do conventional jumping jacks, or a nice and easy way is step out jacks. Okay, so do whatever you would like. This is pre-recorded. I'm really gonna only stop after we go through this for one full round. Feel free to hit the pause button and stop whatever you need to. Remember, you're going at your own ability level. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna start with jumping jacks. We begin in three, two, go. Nice light on those feet. You notice I always do my cross jacks. I like the crossing over the arms, get a nice little stretch involved along with the cardio aspect of it. I'm missing my red, my fourth July colors. Hold on, 30 full seconds. Stay with me, it's just our first exercise. We're gonna get down to the ground on this next one. And high, good. So you're on the ground, sit on your butt, okay? Use your arms, okay? Fully extend and pull your knees to your chest. Okay, lean right back. 30 seconds and go. Grab the ground for stability. You can put them behind you if you want. Okay, it's all belly. Lean back, fully extend those legs. Don't go too quick, it's about as fast as I want you to go. You're just gonna keep going until I say stop. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And time. All right, come up to your feet. Make sure your dumbbells aren't your way. We don't want anyone crashing on and rolling the ankles. Next up, we're going to do skywalkers. Okay, so you get to stand up nice and tall. Okay, crawl your fingers down, walk out into a push up position. Hey, do a push up if you want, you don't need to. Walk back up, just a little hop. It's 30 seconds, these are slow, so you might only get somewhere between four to six in. And here we go. 
Then you're all the way down to your toes. Walk through all the rope. All right, give me a so hop. Crawl the fingers down. Walk out. Get a little push up. Walk the fingers up. And jump. Good. Your knees should only bend at the time of your jump. Okay. Other than that, those legs stay straight. Get a nice little stretch with the hamstrings, calves, glutes, everything behind you. Stay grip down on those push-ups, that's fine. Hey, yeah, beautiful, last time already. All right, grab some dumbbells. Finally right, gonna need some dumbbells. You have squats and press. They're gonna start right in your shoulders. Low, one full motion up and press. Yeah, I'll do a little bit more with the dumbbells on the first round. Then we'll block 30 seconds and go. Hey, one full motion. Drop into the squat, dumbbells tight to the shoulders. One full motion, go up and press. Generating momentum with the lower body. Time that breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose down, out through the mouth on the way up. See how many you can get in that 30 seconds. Last one. And beautiful time. Easily put those dumbbells down. Get out a mat. We're just gonna hold 30 seconds back. Okay. I'll go over little things. And time. Here we go. Squeeze. Now you're not just holding this position. You're bracing. You're squeezing this position. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Talk. Think about driving those elbows back to the toes. And keep everything tight in between, okay? Focus on your breathing. Slow it through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to drive your heels right through that imaginary wall that's behind you. Big your real wall. Squeeze your butt. Eat your shorts with your butt. Squeeze everything as hard as you possibly can. And time. Slowly come back to your feet. You know what? Two more, I'll give you a little mini break. And I'll mark our halfway. Reverse fly, so grab those light dumbbells. We're gonna hinge, push hips back, slight bend the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. All right, 30 seconds, and go. Come on, stick with me. We're gonna do two more exercises. We'll give you a little break. Okay, nice and slow. Keep that chest down, keep that chin tucked. Okay, all upper back here, upper back. Make sure you're not rounding down like this, okay? And make sure you're not coming up like that. Those two indicators that you need to lighten up that weight, or you need to back up a little bit. Three, two, and time, dude. All right, this next one we're gonna do body weight. For those of you that don't have dumbbells, if you'd like to add some weight to make it more challenging, then just hold it like so. All right, so it's gonna be a front to reverse lunge. So start with one leg, go front, and then go back. Front, and then go back. Okay. 30 seconds on that side, and then 30 seconds on the other side. A lot of balance involved here. Pick a leg in the leg, and go. Front lunge, reverse lunge. Front lunge, reverse lunge. Front, reverse. Okay? If you want to add weight, hold it just like so. To make it more challenging. Ooh. These are going to get a nice quad burn. Keep that chest up. Don't let it drop. Drive yourself forward, drive it back. Right before that knee touches, spring up. Last one, reverse, and front. Good, shake it out, shake it out. Ready, plant the opposite leg, hope you remember which one. And here we go, front to reverse. Front to reverse. Front to reverse. Push both knees nice and wide, right? Both knees wide, as much as you can. Don't let them cave in. A nice quad burn. We got 10 more seconds. And time. Good. Shake them out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Grab a sip of water. Grab a sip of water. Okay. If you want to think about breaking these up in four separate rounds, then you're, you're a quarter of the way through. Our right, next two, no you can't see me, the next two are going to be on the ground. Okay, I'm going to sit on this path. Okay, this is called boat pose. Okay, so sitting on my butt, 
big cross elevated. If you can't hold this position, then just drop your heels to the ground. Maintain this slight lean back, that's still gonna engage your core, okay? Grab some light dumbbells. Remember, if you don't have dumbbells, just use your arms. Just pretend like you're pressing. You're still gonna get better. Okay, so you're gonna hold this position and press above your head for 30 seconds, all right? Three, two, and begin. Take these slow. The faster you go, the more you're gonna to wanna to lose your balance. Good. Ooh, a little balance here, right? Keep those elbows right underneath the dumbbells. Come on, keep holding. Maintain that little lean back. You can really engage that belly. Come on, you're almost there. A few more presses. Last one. And time. Dude. All right, so we already did the front plank. Let's do a side plank. Okay? So, I'll show you what it looks like. Feet stacked, feet split, doesn't matter, whichever is more comfortable. If this is too challenging, bend your knees and pop up like that. Okay, do 30 seconds each side. Okay, if you can't get 30 seconds, go as long as you possibly can. All right, 30 seconds begins now. Up and hold, up and hold. Make sure this elbow right underneath the shoulder. Okay, keep it there. If you start to slide, I don't know what type of surface you're on, then feel free to reset yourself. Come down and reset. That's fine. Time check. You only have 10 seconds left. Come on, hold tight, hold tight. This opening, this opening. Bottom one. Five seconds. Stick with me. And time. Good. Other side, other side. See if one side is stronger than the other. All right, you know what you're doing. 30 seconds and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Good position with the elbow right underneath the shoulder. Chest is up, it's not caving in. That's gonna bother the shoulder. Keep your chest up. You're halfway. Hold it, hold it. Bottom of leap, bottom of leap. What do we got here? Five seconds. Hold tight with me. And time. Slowly come back to your feet. Slowly. All right, we're gonna grab a heavy dumbbell. We're gonna do a swing. Okay, so let me demo one from the side. Okay. And there's what it looks like from the front. Okay, so feet about squat width, shoulder width apart. Hinging at the hips, squeezing the butt. Just send that dumbbell up to shoulder height. 30 seconds, and go. Power through the glutes. You should not have any lower back issues with this. It should be all over your glutes. If you can't get your glutes to fire, that's when your lower back starts to hurt. So if this does hurt, drop the weight. And let's retract our steps on how to swing. How to hinge. How to use our muscles properly. Come on. Power right up. Bend it. Get it tall. Last one. And easy down, easy down. Alright, this next one. So for those of you that have watched the video on Load of Peace, okay, that's what we're gonna do. The alternative to this is just a jump squat. If you don't want to jump, then just squat. Load of Peace looks like this. Back, feet up, jump. Back, feet up, jump. Okay, you get the picture. We have three different options of what you can do here. We're gonna go 30 seconds on the beast. And go. No. Up. Back. Up. Up. This is the much safer position of the work. Okay? There's no risk of arching the back here. You need to push up either. Really loading up those quads. And there you go. Time, 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 time. We're gonna go down to the ground for these last few. All right, dumbbells ready. You're gonna glute bridge and chest press. Okay, nice and slow. 
30 seconds. And go. Bridge up and hold that bridge. Fingers pressing. Just your head and shoulder blades should be on the ground along with your heels. Exhale as you press, come on. Squeeze out a few more. And time. All right, you're gonna stay on your back. Hey, you're gonna make yourself nice and wide on the ground. You're gonna come up, touch opposite hand to opposite toe. So my right pointer finger is gonna touch my left big toe. 30 seconds, let's go. Alternate. Grab nice and high. Gotta touch right over the belly button. Take the legs and the upper body to equal parts. Come on, we're almost there. Keep getting up, working that belly. And high. All right, last one. And we're halfway. Mountain climbers. Simple, right? Let's do it. Three, two, go. Okay, just keep them moving. Keep your eyes focused on your fingers. Keep moving, legs. Keep moving. You get a break after this. You get a nice little water break. You get halfway, 15 seconds. Working that belly. Cardio. Stay light on those feet. Ah, almost there. Ah. All right, time. Grab some water. Grab some water. You're halfway. You've made it halfway. To be able to finish a whole one of these. Give me a little bit more time. All right, so our first three is going to be a little bit quicker now. We've already done the demos. You already know what you're doing. We're just going to do quick, quick through it. Jumping jacks, atomic crunches, skywalkers. Okay, I won't get ahead of myself. Those are the first three. All right, I'll try to let you know before. Remember, if I stop, if my body stops, I'm probably just trying to explain something. You keep going until I say stop. All right? Excellent. All right, we're about ready. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Let's start in five seconds. All right, the timer's ready. And go. All right, hit it. Yeah, we're on. Any variation you'd like. And dumbbells, do classic jumping jacks, crossover jacks. Whatever you'd like. Whatever tickles your fancy, you go for it. Come on, keep that pace up, keep the pace up. Almost slow down. Ah, atomic crunches. Dude, run your back. Hold the knees to your chest. Right? And go. Come on, belly. Keep working. Pull those knees tight to your chest. Three, two, and time. All right, slowly come back to your feet. We got skywalkers, all right? So crawl the fingers down, walk it out, push up if you want, walk the fingers back up, and give me out. So I'm gonna get about four to six in this. And go. Crawl the fingers, walk it out, walk the hands back up, give me out. Push up if you want, not required. Push up will be here. Crawl it. Ah. 
Fingers down. Walk. Push up if you want. Oh, nice stretch in there, right? Legs stay straight. All out. Off the hands. And hop. All right. You got it. squat to press. You're going to need some dumbbells. Ready? Three, two, go. Ready? Squat. Press. Exhale up. Inhale down. Sit into those heels. Keep the chest out. All right, just remember those few things. You'll be gold. Come on, keep pressing. How many can you get before I say stop? And time, 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 time. Just gonna hold a regular plank. Just gonna hold a plank. Thirty seconds and go. Hold, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Everything is tight. Grab those elbows back to your toes. Tight. So I'm gonna punch you right in the gut. Brace for it. Brace for it. Five seconds. And time. All right, we got reverse flies. Grab light dumbbells. Hinge over. Fly. Right, here we go. 30 seconds. You're on. Nice flat back. Don't crane the neck. Keep your chin. Tucked in, we'll get a spot on the ground. Last few. And time. Beautiful. All right, one more. We made it halfway through. It's the front to reverse lunge. All right, 30 seconds each leg. Doesn't matter which leg to start with. And go. Front, reverse. A lot of balance, find spots to stare at. Staying all on this leg this time through. Careful that ground. Be careful, don't touch it. Built primarily on the plant leg. And time. All right, switch legs. And go. Front. Reverse. Front. Reverse. Front. Reverse. 90 degrees of each knee. Chest stays up. On 10 seconds. And we did it. Shake them out. Shake them out. Grab a sip of water. We're halfway through this. Halfway through the second round. We got seven exercises left. That's it. All right. So your first three. Oh, pose. Overhead press. Side plank and swings. All right? If you can elevate the feet, do it. If you can't, just drive your heels into the ground. 30 seconds. And we're on. Slow, super slow. The faster you go, the more you lose your balance. Almost there. Last few. Last one. 
Again, high. Side plank. Take a side to the side, 30 seconds or as long as you can make it. And you're up. However you want those feet, stacked or split, doesn't matter to me. Whichever is more comfortable for you. You're slipping like I am, just reset. Hey, that is fine. You got 10 more seconds. See if you can make it. Come on, hold. Hold. Keep it tight. Keep it up. Three, two, time. Push over. Here we go. And you're up. Hold. Chest is up. Pretty much just this elbow is in. If you find all your weights falling to your hand, that means you're rocking forward too much. Keep that chest up, shoulders straight at the ceiling. Come on, five seconds. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Three, two, time. All right, slowly come to your feet. Grab a heavy dumbbell. You got one. We're doing our swings. Nice little swing. Boom. Don't be sloppy like that was. And go. Scoot that glute. The chin tucked, no neck and crane. Drop that chest parallel to the ground. Squeeze your butt to send that dumbbell up. Got it. All right. Loaded beast is next. Remember, your alternative is jump squats or squats. I'm going to do jump squats this time. All right. So feel free to follow my lead or keep going for loaded beast. Three, two, go. Hold on. Go. Hey, you just got a few extra seconds. No big deal. Halfway, I'll go to squats. Remember, whatever variation you gotta do is fine. You're still getting to work in. 10 seconds. And time. Final three, final three. Come on, stick with me. All right, we got a glute bridge, chest press. You're gonna bridge up and hold that bridge. You're gonna press. 30 seconds. And go. Bridge. Cross. Close hip side, don't let them sag. I caught myself there. Catch yourself. Come on, we got a few more. Keep pressing, keep squeezing those elbows. Last one. And time. All right, last two. We're gonna be on our back. Opposite hand, opposite toe, and mountain climbers to end. You ready? Come on, stay strong, stay strong. Last minute. And go. Spring. You still got some spring left, right? Yep, there. And time. Uh, all right, now climbers to finish. Three, two, and go. Come on. Feels like that last. Take another 30 seconds, right? Come on. Finish line. 
Go, move it, move it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, and time, time. You're all done. You're all done. Awesome. Nice job. Go through your breathing drills. Line your back, elevate your feet. Calm your breathing, get out a foam roller, do some of those mobility drills. Hey, okay, do whatever it is that you have access to and can do in your space and time. And until then, I'll see you next time.